climate change is the greatest challenge of our time. Facing that challenge will take action from all of us, as citizens and as consumers. Up to 70% of all greenhouse gas emissions could come from what economists call demand side changes. In practice, what that means is consumers changing what we eat, what we buy, how we travel, how we heat and cool our homes, how we plug in and use energy, and even how we spend and save our money. Consumer advocates believe this means four big shifts that need to happen fast. First, helping people to make more sustainable choices easily. Second, making sustainable products and services the marketplace norm. Third, beyond products and services, building business models that prioritize the planet and drive sustainable consumption patterns. And finally, protecting and strengthening people's marketplace rights in a way which ensures and builds trust for the future. Members of the Consumers International Network, who represent consumers and consumer rights across the world, fight day in and day out to protect people in the marketplace and put these ambitious goals into action. As Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, we have embarked on a project to educate consumers on the use of the clean cook stoves. Clean cook stoves reduce the use of fossil fuel. We also promote consumer clubs who are groups of women to raise funding for themselves to start using solar energy. So they buy solar equipment together as groups. E uma das nossas frentes de atuação é a eficiência energética dos ar-condicionados e geladeiras. Pressionamos as autoridades pela execução de políticas públicas que melhorem a etiquetagem desses equipamentos e com isso conseguimos, após muita pressão, a revisão do modelo de etiquetagem no Brasil. The cheapest and most sustainable energy is the energy you don't use. Therefore, Consumentable provides a home improvement tool. Within two minutes, consumers get a 3D model of their home and a calculation of the measures they can take. And these include insulation, solar panels, heat pump and more. Apart from this, we provide consumers with numerous online tips and tricks how to save energy. And these tips are very easy to implement in the daily life. For instance, use LED lamps, use a lid on the pan while boiling eggs. We have been working on sustainable mobility, walking, cycling and public transport for several years now. Recently, we campaigned for increased bus fleets to at least 50 buses per 100,000 as per government norms. We presented our demands in a web webinar where members of parliaments were present and it was well received by them. Our state, Tamil Nadu, has plans to buy new buses and integrate public transit systems to ensure a modern shift in transport and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We are the main problem of the air pollution from the Arab Spring and the war in Yemen in 2019 and all the Yemeni people came to the Yemen to buy the air pollution from the Arab Spring and the use of the air pollution. عملت الجمعية على إعداد برامج توعوية لرفع مستوى الوعي لدى التجار المستوردين من منظمة الطاقة الشمسية وكذلك المستهلكين والجهات الحكومية نتج كان لهذه الحملة تأثير على جميع القطاعات حيث وفر التجار منظمة الطاقة الشمسية ذات الجودة العالية وكذلك عملت الحكومة على إنشاء مختبر للطاقة الشمسية كما زاد إقبال المستهلكين على الطاقة. Our unique grocery buying distribution model provides grocery to 32,000 plus families in and around Mumbai. Families are organized into local clusters and groceries are delivered to each group every month. This group delivery eliminates nearly 1.4 million kilometers of road trips each year, thereby reducing carbon emissions significantly. This model also allows us to insist on sustainable packaging. For example, 
rice, wheat, sugar are given in cloth bags and each cloth bag is used for 18 times. This way we eliminate 25,200 kgs of plastic every year. The flag has been making its voice heard in Morocco uh, in advocating for uh, consumer empowerment in order to implement a legal frame that gives the right to install solar panels, uh, generate its own electricity and even have the right to uh, inject into the grid. Not to mention the importance of uh, subsidizing such investments considered for us and uh, for all specialists as one of the prerequisites to um, a successful uh, energy transition. In this regard, we uh, submitted many proposals that were discussed with uh, the Ministry of Governance and uh, as well as the Ministry of uh, the Energy Transition and Sustainable Development and lately in one of the uh, Parliament uh, committees. Hello, I am Crisólogo Cáceres, President of the Peruvian Association of Consumers and Users, ASPEC. My organization is located in Lima, Peru. ASPEC has carried out many campaigns and is part of uh, networks dedicated to the promotion of family farming. However, the most important is the design of the Cusicui application that allows consumers in Lima to buy directly from farmers in four Andean areas of Peru considered by the Food and Agriculture Organization as places, um, as places of global food importance. We are all aware that sustainability sells and that greenwashing is a problem. When companies greenwash, they lead us into the belief that everything is fine when it's not. Therefore, we have launched the first greenwashing award this year. The goal of this project is to make it easier for consumers to make more sustainable choices and to contribute to a more accountable communication and marketing about sustainability. All the nominees on our shortlist are notified to the National Consumer Protection Authority. Fighting the climate crisis will require profound changes in the way we live. These changes will only happen if consumers are supported and enabled by other actors in the marketplace and by ambitious government actions. In Australia, you can't escape the effects of climate change. Across our country, we have communities that live daily with the risk of extreme weather events like bushfire, floods, cyclones that are becoming more prevalent and more severe. The problem we have is that many people in these communities can no longer afford to insure their homes or their contents. And that means that when they're hit by an extreme weather event, they literally lose everything with no, no ability to, to rebuild, no ability to replace their possessions. We're working with the Australian Government to call for a fairer insurance market where people can understand what covers available, but also for affordability, for measures to make sure that people can afford to insure their basic possessions. Our call for policymakers at COP27 is to take urgent action to control the impacts of climate change and to ensure that as we transition to a lower, lower carbon economy, the poorest people in our communities aren't left even further behind. E a nossa proposta aos tomadores de decisão que estão aí na COP é para que coloquem a eficiência energética no centro do debate e consigam efetivamente mitigar as mudanças climáticas no mundo. Consumentable wants governments to focus more on helping consumers to reduce their energy use. It must become more easy and more affordable for all households to make their homes more energy efficient. We ask for structural improvements that end our dependence on fossil, rather than spending money on short-term measures to help with the energy bills. At COP27, we would like to see the nations walk the talk on climate action, especially in terms of meeting targets and finance, particularly the global north.
على توفير منظومة الطاقة الشمسية والطاقة النظيفة لعموم المستهلكين وكذلك الحفاظ على البيئة لمستقبلنا ومستقبل الأجيال القادمة. My appeal to decision makers: Please incentivize and encourage local communities to replicate this eco-friendly collective grocery distribution model. My two demands for decision makers at COP27 are first that they demand stronger commitments from the countries that pollute the environment the most, and two, to establish technical and economic assistance mechanisms for the countries that carry out actions aimed to protect the environment.